Hello, rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this BNSF SD70 Ace. So let's get right into the build here. So the first step is going to be to take out a dark oak stair for a coupler and get that attached up. Underneath that, we'll put a dark oak fence gate and then a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler. On the next block down in the middle, three polished black stone blocks. Then a polished black stone stair upside down and facing outward on either side of that. Then five polished black stone blocks across the top here. Then a dark oak button on the corner here and over here. Then swing around in front of it and make a three block tall T-shaped pattern of polished black stone in the middle. Then an end rod on bottom above each rail, and in front of that, a 5x3 of polished black stone blocks, coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to take out smooth quartz slabs, three of them coming up the side for stairs here, three oak slabs across this top middle, and three smooth quartz slabs up this side. Then come around in front of this, skip one block forward down on the rails, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take stone brick slabs and we're going to make two rows that are five wide on the upper hip boxes. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. And another two rows of stone brick slabs, five blocks wide on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels down on this end here. Then we're going to take out stone brick blocks, and we're going to fill in the top middle three on the second layer coming down the length of this truck. We're going to come out two blocks past where the fence gates are. So one more row up here and then we'll put a row of three across the bottom. Then we're gonna take stone brick stairs coming off that bottom block in a row upside down facing outward and that's gonna be 17 blocks long in total. Once you have 17, put three stone brick blocks across this end and then same thing on this side, upside down stone brick stairs facing outward, 17 blocks long until it meets up on bottom of this corner and frames in our fuel tank for us. Then we'll come up on top and continue filling the top middle three with stone brick blocks down to the end of this fuel tank. We'll stop at the end of it for now. Then we're gonna skip to the third block out down on the rail and get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. And then same as before, two rows of stone brick slabs on the upper hip box, five blocks wide. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle, and another two rows of stone brick slabs, five wide on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels down on this end. Then we'll go back to stone brick blocks on the second layer and continue filling the top middle three down the length of this truck. We'll stop above where the fence gates are. In front of that, we're gonna make a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the tracks. Then in front of that, a T-shaped pattern in the middle and an end rod on bottom above each rail. In front of that, three polished black stone stairs on the bottom middle and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle, two forward facing upside down stairs on either side of that. Then three oak slabs across the top middle, three smooth cord slabs coming up this gap for stairs, and same thing on this side. Then we're going to take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to that second block. Delete the ones we used for placement, 
under it, put a dark oak fence gate, and also a fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then my front end is going to be facing the void here, making this the engineer side. So on the engineer side, at the back of the fuel tank, on top of these stairs, we're going to put five sideways anvils for an air tank, then a crimson sign, a player head, and a crimson button. Then fill the rest of it on the front of the fuel tank with anvils for another air tank. On this side of the fuel tank, a full row of stone brick blocks. Then lined up with that gap on the other side, we're going to put a crimson sign, then a player head, and a crimson button. Then take out a bell, come over to the engineer side here, above this truck, and put a bell right here. Then we're going to put a stone bit slab on the side of the truck, above each of the wheels. Same thing here, stone brick slabs above each of the wheels. Then we'll do this side, slabs above these wheels. Got one more corner to go, slabs above these wheels. Then we're going to come underneath with a grindstone and hang an upside down grindstone in front of each of the three wheels. Same thing here, upside down grindstones in front of these wheels. And of course we do the other side upside down grindstones in front of each of these wheels. One more corner to go. Grindstones in front of these wheels. Then we're going to take out a chain here. And we're going to put a chain in these two gaps up here. Then two chains in this gap. Two chains in this gap. Two chains in this gap two chains in this gap, and finally a chain in these two gaps up here. Then we'll go back to stone brick blocks and we're going to fill the top middle three on the third layer with stone brick end to end. Then we're going to come around on the side and on the very top edge we're going to go end to end with an oak slab every other block on both sides. Then we'll go back through both sides and fill all the gaps between them with a polished black stone slab. After that, we're going to swing around on top of the front and we're going to start on the third block back here where it's a full line of polished black stone. One block in on this left hand side, we're going to put a jungle door. Then we're going to turn around this way and put two beehives facing backwards on each side so you don't see the holes. Then two facing this way right here. Then above that we're going to put a polished black stone in the middle, two orange concrete on this side and one orange concrete over here. Then on the top middle we're going to put a glowstone and an orange concrete on either side of it. Then an orange concrete on each of these back ones and three across the top middle. On the front, a forward facing polished blackstone stair, and then an outward facing one behind it on each side. Then we're going to cover the top of this nose with black carpet. Come around behind it on the bottom here. On this side, we're going to put a backward bee nest, two sideways observers, and another backward bee nest. Four backward bee nests on this side. Then four orange concrete on each side above that. On the next layer, an orange concrete in each corner, and two polished blackstone on each side for the locomotive number. Then two cyan stained glass blocks, orange concrete, two more over here, and two cyan glass panes on either side, and an orange concrete behind them. Then come on top, fill the front three with orange concrete across the middle, and bring it back to the back of the cab. On the outside edges, smooth red sandstone stairs facing outward in a row of four on each side. Next, coming off the very back of the cab on top, we're going to make a 3x7 
of black wool. So three blocks wide in the middle and seven blocks long. Then in the center, coming back off that, two cobble deep slate with two iron bars on either side. Then a smoker in the middle for an exhaust and surround that with black wool. Then on top of it, surround it with dark oak trap doors. So it looks like this. On this side, one block in front of the iron bars, a row of four black stained glass panes, and a ladder in front of it. And then a ladder one block back on this side as well. Then we'll take out bee nests, and we're going to put a row of nine bee nests facing backwards on each side here, so you don't see the holes. Then, above the bee nests here, we're going to switch over to orange concrete. And we'll do a full row of orange concrete on each side to the end of this section. On this side, we're going to put a jungle door right here next to the cab. Then a column of two orange concrete. Then we're going to move back in two orange concrete in the center behind it. Then two orange stained glass panes. And then we'll fill the rest of this section here with two layers of orange concrete. We'll come over here and do the same thing. Just fill it with two layers of orange concrete. All the way to the end of this section. Then on bottom on this side, starting from the cab, a line of seven deep slate tile walls. Then seven orange concrete above it, and seven more deep slate tile walls above that. Then a column of three orange concrete behind that, then a 2x2 two two of orange concrete and two polished basalt going vertically behind it and one more deep slate tile wall in that bottom corner. Now we're going to move to the rear end here and on the third block back in the very middle we're going to put a bee nest facing backwards. Then we're going to put one on the next block forward on each side like this. Then two layers of orange concrete, another layer of forward facing bee nests, and a layer of black wool above that. Then I just realized we made a mistake up here, so we have to fix this a little bit here. We're gonna knock out this top layer of orange concrete under the black wool, but leave that orange stained glass pane. Turn sideways and put some sideways bee nests so you don't see the holes. When we get down near the back, we're gonna turn the other way so the holes are facing forward so you don't see the holes from the front. Then we have to do that stripe on the other side too. So we're gonna knock out this layer on this side all the way up to the cap. And then we'll fill that with a full line of sideways bee nests. But make sure that back one is facing forward so you don't see the holes. Then we're going to come down to the rear end and work on that again. We're going to take out netherite. We're going to put a column of three in this back middle, then four coming forward up the middle, and two more on top of this end. Then three sideways anvils here. Then we're going to do a three by three of iron bars on the side in front of these anvils. Same thing over here, a three by three of iron bars. Then we're going to put a sideways bee nest on the bottom and two orange concrete on the top in front of this on each side just like this. Then above it a full row of sideways bee nests on each side and then a full row of black wool on each side. Then starting from the back middle here, two black wool, cobbled deep slate, two black wool in the center. On top of the cobbled deep slate and oak trapdoor, and surround that with iron trapdoors for a fan. In front of it on this side, we're going to put an oak stair, orange concrete above that, close the trapdoor on it for a brake wheel, then an orange concrete, and a sideways bee nest. On this side, a column of three deep slate tile walls, and a sideways bee nest above that. Then on top of here, we're going to do a row of five black wool going sideways so it sticks out on each side. Coming off the outside one, we're going to come forward with black wool by another eight blocks. Then we'll come across and frame in this rectangle. 
Then we'll put three across the very middle here. Then we're gonna come underneath with our sideways B nest and do a full row on bottom of each side until it connects up with our front section we've already built. Then above that, we'll do two full layers of orange concrete on each side and bring that all the way to the front. On top of that, we'll do a full line of sideways beadness on both sides. Then we're gonna come on each of these squares and make a plus shape of polished black stone blocks in each one. In the centers, we'll put cobbled deep slate, then an oak trap door above the deep slate, and then polished black stone slabs around each one for the fans. We'll also put fans in each of these corners so it looks nice and dark in there. Then we'll come to this middle section here and we'll fill the full middle with black wool. Then on top of this section in the front, two rows of polished black stone slabs. Behind that in the center, open back to back dark oak fence gates for a horn and then fill the rest of this section with polished black stone slabs. Then we're gonna come up and we're gonna take out a white stained glass pane. Put one on the side here and here for rear view mirrors. On the top center of the cab, two smooth quartz slabs. And on each side of it, we're gonna put two levers going into each other for antennas. Then we're gonna take out black carpet, starting behind the cab here, and fill the whole top of this section with black carpet. Coming right back and covering this vent area. Next, we're gonna come underneath this part on the back that sticks out and put a full line of upside down outward facing deep slate tile stairs. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full line of upside down outward facing deep slate tile stairs under this section. Then we're gonna go back to black carpet and put a full line of black carpet on top of this box up here. Then we'll move down and a full line of black carpet on this walkway down the side of the locomotive. We'll come around this corner, a T-shape on the end, and around this corner. And then we'll start bringing it forward. Except we never built our stairs up here, so we have to do that real quick. So up here, starting from the cab, we're gonna put a line of seven forward-facing B-ness. Then starting from the cab again above it, two orange shulker boxes, orange concrete, orange concrete, two orange shulker boxes. Then we'll bring our carpet up these stairs and we'll have to come up here and crouch so we can place the carpet on top of these shulker boxes here. Then we'll swing around to the front and a T-shape of black carpet on this front porch. Then we're gonna do our railing, so take out a perch fence here. Starting right here, we're gonna come up by three, over one. Same thing on this side, up by three and over one. Here, we'll come up by four. And same thing on this side, up by four. Then we'll switch to oak fence and put a two by two here and a two by two here. Then we're gonna do the same thing at the rear end. So we're gonna switch back over to Birch, come up by four right here come up by three right here and then over one. Then up by three here and over one, and up by four here. Then we'll switch to oak fence and a two by two here, and a two by two on this side. Then we're gonna switch to a dark oak fence, come around in front of this, attach it up, and bring that fence all the way up this side of the locomotive. And we get right here, up one, over one, up one, and then over until it connects with the cab. Then we'll do the other side, still with dark oak. So come down to the back on this side, attach it up right here, and start bringing it forward up this side.
when we get right here, we're gonna come straight up by three and then bring it forward again until it attaches to the cab on this side here. Then come in this corner and put one right there. Next, we'll come up front with a glow item frame and we're gonna put one on each of these two fences up here. Then glowstone in them for ditch lights. Then a glow item frame and glowstone on the top center here for a headlight. And then up above the windows on each side, we're gonna put a dark oak sign for our locomotive number plate here. And the number for this one is gonna be 8570. Same thing on this side. Then we'll hit both of those signs with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Then we'll come down to the rear end. At the back here, if you want rear ditch lights, glow item frames down here with glowstone on them. Then in the top center, we're going to put two vertical glow item frames with glowstone in them for headlights back here. Then on the top layer of the orange on the outside edge, we're going to put an acacia sign with our locomotive number here, which is 8750, and same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna hit those both with black dye, and then a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna close two trap doors under the headlights, because there's a little vent back there. Now we're gonna come into a loom with an orange banner and black dye. Put a vertical on the left, vertical on the right, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, vertical on the right, and a diagonal. New banner. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. Then switch to orange die, and we're going to put an orange border around all four of these letter banners here. Then we can come place them on the side of the locomotive. And we're gonna put them in the orange concrete layer, starting just in front of where that horn is, and spell out BNSF. Then we'll do the same thing over here, start just behind where that horn is, and put on BNSF. Now we'll do the interior here, so come on in through the snow store. In this corner, we'll put an end portal for a toilet. Then take smooth sandstone slabs and stack them up right here until it reaches the window. And same thing on this other side. On the side here, we'll stack our slabs up two blocks tall. Same thing in this back middle. And same thing on the other side. Then in the center, we'll use our slabs to make a staircase coming down. Turn around back here, we're going to put a blast furnace and a glowstone above it. Then, stairs on each side to be seats, a slab up here in this corner, a glow item frame in the middle with an end crystal, and a lever for the engineer on this side. Turn around, come down these stairs, and put a door right here. Now the interior is completed. And there we have it folks. We've completed this BNSF SD70 Ace locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, my fellow rail fans.